What's up guys, this is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Justin and Eddie, and we're gonna talk to them a little bit about their ride right here. So guys, tell me, what what is this that we have here? It's a 1933 Factory 5 Hot Rod. It is freaking beautiful, man. What kind of made you guys wanna build this car here? Well, I've always liked the 33 slant nose, and we had two muscle cars at the time, and we couldn't build a third one and keep them all, so we had to get rid of two to just built the, the 33. We got it in 2010, it took us five years to complete it. 2015 was originally uh, registered on the road. Okay, cool. And from there on, it's just uh, pretty much taken off. Yeah, and that's awesome that you guys built it together. You, and you built it in this right in garage, here. correct? Yeah, that's so except cool. for the paint. This is also a, a kit car, correct? How does it come when you get the car? It comes completely... It came in a tractor trailer, a chassis, 32 boxes. Let's go ahead and lift up this hood here and and check out the motor if you guys don't mind it's a 408 windsor it's got an eagle uh, uh crank set up afr heads and uh holly snipe fuel injected the turbos came about just for fun it wasn't a chase for horsepower or anything it was just kind of toss up idea one day at old town the local car show and you know i had gone into welding a couple years prior to the idea coming up and we just decided to slap them on not really knowing what to expect and it's been working out great ever since. So this was the first set of turbo manifolds that we put together and probably the last because it was a lot of work. Stainless tends to move a lot when you TIG weld it. So it was difficult to get them, you know, symmetrical, nice and even. Took some time, but yeah. it came out great and, uh, and we're, yeah, we're happy with it. Yeah. It's been holding up. Yeah. yeah, it looks great. What kind of wheels do you have on the front and the back? There are both fill specialties. The rears were custom made for the offset in front of standard size. What about the, the tires? What are, what are the tires that you have running on the fronts and the backs? Uh, the fronts, the, the uh, Continentals, the back we got Toyos, uh, they, like plastic tires, basically. <laughs> What's the size on the back though? It's a looks like a big meat tire. It's a 345, 45, 17. It's a four nine inch. I believe that when, when we built the car originally, we're the only ones with a four nine inch. Everybody uses the 8.8, .8, but I think this is the first hot rod with a four nine inch. And it's got three uh, 350 gears in the back. So let's go ahead and talk about the interior a little bit. What are the seats that you have in this here? So these seats actually came with the kit. They're just low back uh, bucket seats. And what kind of gauges do you have on there? Those are just analog autometer gauges. Okay. Tried to keep it old school. Yeah, it looks good. I really like it. And I love that you have a radio in here as well. Yeah. Even though you said you can't really hear it too much anymore though. No, right? we used to be able to hear it when the car had a full exhaust, yeah. but uh, those days are behind us, yeah, unfortunately. Exactly. I feel that. Yeah, and you got the Hurst shifter on there. What about the steering wheel that you have? What, did that come with the kit as well? Or? No, no, that didn't come with the kid. We, okay. we added that. But the horn works. <laughs> Does it really? That's yeah. funny. Okay, man. Well, I think that's that pretty much covers it. I say we go ahead and, and get it on the road and take it for a cruise. What do you think? Yeah, sounds All right, good. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. 
And it sees the road a little bit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You gotta drive them. Yeah, I bet you get people freaking taking photos, asking you about this all the time, huh? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, the biggest question we get asked is how much horsepower? Yeah. Um, just because, you know, I got the turbos hanging out, so yeah, definitely. right off the jump, they're thinking uh, 3,000 horsepower. Uh -huh. You know, I'm like, yeah, it's really not that much. Um, but we just focus more on the details. Yeah. You know. It looks we, badass, man. Yeah, that's, like I told you, it was that was the reason for the turbos. It wasn't ever a, a horsepower thing. But then it kind of worked out them being there because then we put a tire on the car and been racing it here and there lately uh, just until I finished my other car. And then uh, once that car is done, this, this car will be uh, kind of back to cruising yeah. only. You know, the tires that we have on the car now, you know, they're, they're Toyo drag radials. But really, they're not much of a drag radial. It's not in our opinion at least it's, yeah. it's not like a mickey thompson drag radio or anything like that and, uh, even though they're a big size you know 345s they still uh you'll see they still don't hook up too great yeah. you know this car really depends on a on a soft bias fly slip <laughs> video guys if you like this please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this with more hot rods make sure that you subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time